Just leave it for now. <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't be good in war. I'm like, no, you would not. <laughs> no, you would not be good in war. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Poor little thing. I felt bad for her. What's up, everybody? All right. Happy Thanksgiving. It's a Thanksgiving Day hunt. We've been having deer movement all throughout yesterday and the day before. The game cameras have been going off non-stop. Big bucks, big does. And um, we had a hot warm front come in. It jumped 12 degrees between yesterday and today. There has not been a deer moving on camera since 6 this morning. So I'm hoping we'll get some afternoon activity. Um, but it's almost 70 degrees here on Thanksgiving Day. So we'll see what happens. We appreciate you joining. Hope we can get some deer in here and get you some good footage and uh, maybe stick something, put some meat in the freezer. All right, so I just let an arrow fly to squirrel. I hit just below him. I put the 20 yard pin on him and he's at 23 yards. I hit just one inch low. So the bow is on where I want it to be, which is fine. I didn't need to shoot the squirrel. I was just using it to shoot at something. And they're annoying me anyway, so hopefully if we get a deer coming in here. The bow's on. It's all up to me. So that was nuts. Just had those two bucks come in. Had the small guy come in. He hung out forever. And I saw a bigger one up on the hill and I took a shot at that bigger one and missed it. Well, and I aimed low because they were kind of on edge. They were directly downwind from me. He didn't drop at all. And it went below his belly. Well, that freaking sucks. Given an opportunity like that, you gotta take advantage of it. Had a Thanksgiving Day gift and let it slip through my fingers. 
I just, it was a missed shot. I was overthinking it. I overthought that shot. Yeah. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good afternoon, my dudes. Back in the tree. All right, today, big buck only. Unless I see something that's hurt or injured. Big buck only today. Um, I came in here today, pulling up the road. I had a buck run, a buck stand on the side of the road, bounded off about 100, 200 yards off that way. I just walked up here to my stand. I had a deer here. I kicked up. So, deer moving. All right, guys, we got a little deer coming out, and it's a buck. Well, what I just realized as I looked at it and started filming it, it's the same eight point from the earlier in the video from yesterday. So I'm going to let this one go, watch him for a little while, enjoy the footage on it, and then we got some does that jump out right behind him as well. just packed up I was climbing down my tree and three doe walk in and right behind him was a buck I said big buck or nothing today I think I might have got a pretty decent one I don't even he looks super tall I don't know if I've ever seen that buck again so I'm back in my apartment because I, I couldn't give you guys the whole detail so I told you a buck was down a deer's down, and I swear I saw big antlers on it. I don't know, it's just getting dark enough and just far enough where I couldn't exactly tell, but it was within legal shooting time, and I had my bow in the tree, and I had my rifle. So my bow was already down at the bottom of the tree. I was climbing halfway down. I had my lineman's belt on, not even my safety rope, so I was climbing down, and I had the rifle on the back of my shoulder, which I normally don't do, I know. Don't put your rifle. But it was a ladder stand. I could climb very easily. So I was climbing, I was getting down, I was about three quarters of the way down this ladder stand, and I see three doe and they peg me. It's still light enough where I'm like, shoot, I can't go down, I don't want them to see me. I've had all this activity today. Right behind him, a buck comes. All I saw was antler sticking. All I did is go right for his vitals with the rifle, clicked it off safety and let it fly. There's blood, but super excited so I'm gonna get my better half here I'm gonna go get winter and we'll see if we can go get this deer we're gonna give it a little bit I thought I heard a crash but still freaking out man I'm freaking out so again we're back I've got winter with me I think she's gonna get out of the car eventually I'm not sure I think she's gonna get out there she is look how cute the deer tracker looks <laughs> Look at the deer tracker. <laughs> Look at she's got her fishing boots on. <laughs> That's what I deal with. It's all good. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go find this deer. <sighs> Timmy Lou me dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can't skip. It's so dark and we can't see. Guys, so we trailed from down there. Look right over here, babe. Look at the eyes. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Put your light on them. Aww. What do you mean? Oh, babe, look at this. I don't know how big he is, but that's meat in the freezer. He's right there. Yep, he crashed right here. Bless his little heart. Hi, Mr. Deer. Got him, y'all. We got him right here. That was what, 50 yards he ran? He didn't go 50 yards. Wow. 50 yards, Russ, 50 yards. <laughs> Look at this deer. So he's definitely 
a nice tall little deer. He's got some broken off stuff. What's going on with him? You want to hold the gun, babe? Yeah. He's definitely dead. Well, he didn't have to go very far. He didn't go very far, right into these briars. I heard him crash. Yeah, I don't think he even suffered very much. Oh, he didn't suffer at all. He was he was dead as a doornail. <clears throat> oh. oh. Shot him backwards that way, right through. He is so he's look at the look at the funk on him. He's stuck in barbed wire, baby. I know. There you go. Look at that, y'all. Last minute deer. That's a pretty cool little deer. Look at this little thing on him. Here, show you. Hey, give me a little more light there. Look at that. He's got some weird genetics. These deer out here have some weird kind genetics. Kind of funny that he's got a weirdo horn. They have these, these nodules on them. What a cool little deer. He's not a young deer either. Look, I'll take him. It's meat in the freezer. Now the work begins. We gotta get him out of here. Keep holding. Okay. Come on. Come on, push. Okay. Put that rump into it. Good girl. Oh! You have to wash those. Here, wipe it on me. Wipe it on me. I don't want to try. So definitely, the shot came in this way. Through the double lung that way. He only went 50 yards. There's our buck. So Winter's like all covered in blood and she's like <laughs> <laughs> She's the only one that got blood on her. Just leave it for now. <laughs> this one makes a good marriage. We can laugh at each other when you're up and dry heaving. Oh my gosh. She got all the blood on her. I got no blood on me. Oh my gosh. She's like, I wouldn't be good in war. I'm like, no, you would not. No, you would not be good in war. Oh my gosh. Poor little thing. I felt bad for her. Now I use the 243. That's three deer down that haven't gone more than 50 yards of the 243. Don't tell me you can't use a 243 low caliber weapon. It worked fantastic again, and it wasn't even a perfect shot that time. It was angled away right through double lung. I mean, it did its job obviously, but uh, poor winner. Are you like okay? I, I look like we just killed somebody. We wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so we're back here in the garage. You see behind me. Got my gamble set up there. Got the deer hoisted here. We're gonna use the tarp on the bottom. I don't field dress my deer, because I usually get them pretty quick, but I don't field dress them. I skin them, quarter them, put them in the cooler, and then ice age them for three to five days. Okay, so we got the deer all cut up. It's in the cooler. I'm ready to rinse it off. So I got some hair on it. I got some little things of hair on it. I got some blood in here. I got the head I want to wash off. So I got some stuff I want to clean up. Well, I bought the rinse kit for this purpose. So I just filled my rinse kit up from the faucet upstairs. It's pressurized with two and a half gallons of water. I think this one's two and a half. It's the rinse kit plus. You open it up. Got your hose in here. So the hose goes out the side. Like that, I got my hose, open up the valve. So I think we're just gonna do jet to get this blood off the floor really quick. Let's check this out, ready? Oh, look at that. And now my real concern is washing the deer meat off. So we're gonna go to shower and I'm gonna get the deer meat ready to go.
cooler age this deer. Just put the ice in. We'll put ice on top of it. We'll just throw these back in there, rock and roll with them. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this week's video. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed some of the footage. I was trying to deal with a couple days where we didn't shoot anything, and then obviously when I did get them and didn't get the footage. So hopefully you enjoyed the way we put it together, and I uh, look forward to bringing you guys another good hunting video soon. If you have not done so, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that little thumbs up down there for us, and spread the word. We're getting to 1,000 subscribers, all because of you guys. Much love. See you guys soon.